everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jessica, also known as Chic Professor on Instagram, and I make videos on luxury goods, sustainable fashion, and workwear. However, today's video is all about my pregnancy essentials. At this point, I'm 35 and a half weeks, so really I'm feeling like a week and a half, and then who knows? <laughs> who knows how much longer I'll be pregnant? So I thought it would be a good time to share with you these different things that have kind of gotten me through this time. I was very sick first trimester, second was fine. In the third, I'm starting to get a little sick again. So these are things that have definitely helped me out and hopefully will help you out if you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant in the future. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna share is lemon juice. And I know that seems like kind of a weird thing to share. I really am specifically talking about lemon water that helped me a lot with my nausea. That was just like a natural way, no medication, to kind of curb that nausea. Great way to start the day because I woke up feeling nauseous and it also helped me to kind of increase my appetite. So I've been using it in other things throughout as well, but first trimester, lemon water was actually a huge help for being such a simple little thing. The other thing that really helped with the nausea was this anti-nausea ginger gum. I'm not a huge like ginger chew kind of person. That didn't really do it for me, but like popsicles and popcorn and then this ginger gum were definitely really helpful. This is from C-Band. It's gluten-free so I could have it and it made me feel comfortable, but also I didn't necessarily want more in my stomach. So it was kind of nice to just have a little gum. The next thing is actually kind of silly, but it's just a large water bottle with a straw. For me, I'm just not great about drinking a ton of water and I don't usually use a straw, but for pregnancy, it's really helped me to intake a lot more liquid. I have a sustainable straw, I just clean it. And then this bottle has these markers on it that helps me know how much I've, I've been drinking. So I found it to be quite helpful. You really need to in, have a huge intake of liquid through all three trimesters. The nice thing about a straw as well is that you can kind of drink it when you're laying down or whatever position you're in, which can be really helpful if you're not feeling well or especially in third trimester when it's just kind of difficult to move around. The straw is surprisingly helpful. It's just a silly little thing, but it makes a big difference. I had a really hard time finding a good stretch mark oil or cream that was gluten-free. A lot of them have ingredients that I just wasn't quite sure about that didn't seem right to me. This one from Badger, which is a rose and vanilla, and it has some coconut and jojoba in it. It's just the pregnant belly oil. I found that oils worked better for me than a cream, though it is more likely to stain your clothes, so you have to keep that in mind. This one has been really great, and then there was one other brand that I liked as well, and I will leave both of those linked down below. I probably went through three or four of these throughout pregnancy. So I was not always great about putting it on every night, but in general, um, it may or may not help with stretch marks, but what it does help with is the itching that comes along with the belly growing. That to me was the biggest thing and you don't wanna scratch because then you're much more likely to get stretch marks. So this is really calming and soothing and definitely could potentially also be helping with the stretch marks. And the last kind of like beauty or health or food related item is the liquid prenatal that I used. I am not a good vitamin taker. I don't take pills well. I have like a terrible gag reflex and I, I hate them. And when you're nauseous, you especially don't wanna be taking like a bunch of big pills. So we found this liquid prenatal from Pink Stork and it's been great. It is not tasty, <laughs> it is not tasty. But I have found that if you put it in smoothies or apple juice, it's a nice way to kind of get a little bit of sugar, which I was craving a lot throughout pregnancy, and get your vitamins in, in a way you just don't, you don't taste it nearly as much when it's mixed into that. But for me, it made a huge difference, especially first and third trimester nausea, to not have to try to swallow a pill. That would have brought me a lot of anxiety. So I really did like this liquid prenatal. So now I'll move on to clothing kind of items. I have talked about my maternity hauls and things like that. So there are a couple videos already on those and I have mentioned these before, but as a necessity, I am going to mention them again. And that is some kind of support, legging or short. For me, I was pregnant kind of in the warmer months. So the shorts were really nice. These are from Blanky. I will say the shorts are better quality to me than the leggings. Some of my leggings have gotten some holes in them pretty quickly and I don't dry them or anything like that. So 
I'm not sure what that's about, but the shorts have been really nice. So it's really stretchy in the middle and then in the back, it's black so you can't see, but there's kind of a band that's providing more support for your back, which is really nice. Um, and so these have been really helpful when you're trying to be active and go on walks and things like that. You can get back aches very easily. And also you just kind of need some more support as your belly is growing. So I have found that to be helpful. I did enjoy the shorts and the pants more than the actual belly band. Some people like that because you can kind of wear your regular pants for longer and just keep it unzipped and put the belly band over. But that wasn't so much of a concern for me. My bigger concern was the comfort. And I found that those were almost too constricting. My baby did not like those. She would kind of push against my belly when I was wearing these. These are a little bit easier and it's just kind of that one piece. So you're not like trying to shimmy it on over your clothing. So I, I suggest the shorts for sure. You could also wear these under dresses and things, but um, finding some kind of support legging or short is definitely something I suggest. The other clothing items all come from the brand Kindred Bravely. These are my favorite little nursing pajamas. They're super wrinkly right now, but they have this top and then the belly is super stretchy and you have the ability to lift up and nurse pretty easily without having to like take your whole shirt off. So obviously I haven't tried the nursing part of it yet, but I do find these really comfortable. And then there's pants as well. I have a couple different versions of this. They are breathable, they're really soft and feel pretty luxurious and they look really nice over your belly bump. So I do really like these and hopefully they also work as well for nursing. It's, it's nice when you have something that can work for that full amount of time rather than just be limited to pregnancy. The next thing I wanna talk about also from Kindred Bravely is actual like nursing bras. To me, I didn't wanna just buy bras in a size up. I really wanted a bra that was going to be helpful throughout. And so they have like sports bra kind of options as well as more supportive options. They have busty options and they have even like pumping bra options. So again, I haven't tried the nursing part of them, but I have a couple bras from them. Some are more of a regular bra, some are more of a comfortable sleep bra that can also be used for nursing. So I'm hopeful that those will continue to be great in that postpartum period. Last up, I have pillows. Pillows are a necessity. <laughs> And I have some thoughts on pillows. So I actually borrowed this one, which you're probably not gonna be able to see these because they're so huge. I borrowed this from my mom. This is a wedge pillow. And I only started using this a few weeks ago. It's definitely not something you need first trimester, um, probably not even second. But third, for me, I've had a lot of like acid reflux. It's helped with that, but also sleeping at a bit of an angle which is what this helps you to do. Sleeping a bit of an angle has taken some of the pressure off my hips, which has made it a little bit easier to sleep. So I have enjoyed having this wedge pillow. And if you have hip issues or if you get kind of acid reflux, I would suggest thinking about something like this. <laughs> it's like this huge body pillow that just kind of wraps all the way around you. I wanted a body pillow that had a removable cover so that it could be washed and that wasn't made of polyester, which is really hard to find. I wanted something that had at least a cotton layer, if not, if not the whole thing be cotton. So I did find this one. However, I don't know that I suggest exactly this one. What I think would have been more helpful, this is a C, a C shaped pillow. What I think would have been more helpful is a J-shaped pillow. I like to use my own pillow, so I don't really want the part that goes around my head. I really just want the part that goes along my body and you know, sandwiches between your knees. To me, that's the most helpful part. So I wind up just kind of pushing the top out of the way, like making it more like an S. <laughs> And that's, that's just taking up a lot of room. So I would pre have preferred a J shape. I think if I had to go do it again, that's what I would try to buy. But I did like that this one came with the cotton cover. So that is it. I hope that you found that helpful. These were definitely items that I would suggest. And when we hopefully get pregnant again, all things I'm going to stock up on. If you have already been pregnant and you have some essentials that you absolutely love to please share those down below so that we can all see what has been really useful in this time where everything around you is changing. So thank you all again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.